Um, can you please share with us the exact numbers that you've had from the latest tests that you made on the water quality? And we know that the sun uh, and the heat have a very strong impact on the quality of the water, and that's why we feel, because we are we are so close this morning, that we can, uh, you know, hopefully believe that tomorrow morning uh, the the water quality will be better. Sport is about fine margins. How will, will athletes feel safe in it tomorrow? How possibly? I mean, we're living in the 21st century where, unfortunately, uh, there are far more uh, meteorological events that happen that are beyond the control of the organizers. Uh, we've seen in previous editions of triathlon competitions uh, that uh, some of the events have been moved to duathlon uh, because, you know, it's complex uh, at the moment. We've seen that we go from, uh, you know, a heavy rain to uh, extreme heat like today in very few days. So it's actually hard to control how it can affect uh, the, the quality of a, of a river. PBNZ, uh, billions has been spent on the cleanup of the river for this, assurances have been given to athletes. Um, things being beyond your control, but is it not the case that it is hardly surprising to have rain in Paris in July? And they uh, have found that in this case of accidental contamination, which by the way happens all the time, and by the way the levels of contamination were minimal and absolutely, definitely not performance enhancing. Um, but this is, th th there's a full report uh, where the prosecutor found that they had taken the right actions and they'd done the right things and there was no uh, suggestion of bias. Oui, donc sur, euh, sur ce sujet, la première chose, c'est en effet un, un monitoring quotidien qui est fait en lien avec, euh, avec Météo France. Euh, sur les sites indoor, euh, l'ensemble des mesures ont été prises pour euh, assurer la, la fraîcheur des lieux. Sur les sites outdoor, on a anticipé ces épisodes de chaleur dans la conception même des sites, avec euh, des zones ombragées, des points de rafraîchissement qui permettent aux personnes de pouvoir euh, se rafraîchir et s'hydrater de manière régulière. Vous avez peut-être vu que sur la très, très grande majorité de nos sites, nous permettons l'accès avec des gourdes, ce qui permet aux personnes de pouvoir se réhydrater de manière régulière. Et donc, c'est quelque chose qui est inédit à l'échelle d'organisation d'événements sportifs. C'était une demande importante de notre part. Et ensuite, c'est beaucoup d'informations en amont pour permettre aux athlètes, aux, aux, aux spectateurs de prendre, voilà, d'adopter les meilleures pratiques par rapport à, à la gestion de la température. Après, s'agissant des, des athlètes, il y a tous les protocoles qui sont mis en place en lien avec les fédérations internationales qui permettent, si euh, c'est nécessaire, de pouvoir adapter le format des compétitions. They are uh, women in their passports, and it's stated that, uh, that that is the case, uh, that they are female. Um, they're competing in the women's category. Again, I don't want, want to mention their names or whatever, but these athletes have competed uh, many times before for many years. Uh, they haven't just suddenly arrived. They've been competed. They competed in, in Tokyo. Um, and... Uh, I won't go into to results and so on, but um, you, can, you can probably find out. But I would, I would just make the point that they are eligible by the rules of the Federation.